some book recommendations. Hopefully you can hear me. I have the microphone far away. Computer screen in the way. So the first book here is by William L. Puttingill. God's Prophecies for Plain People. Now the paperback, 1275, Kindle 199. And there is a Kindle preview. And this book is from 1923. I don't think it has copyright, maybe. So they reprinted it. I'm not sure, actually. But um, I read some of it. And it goes through Bible prophecy. Now, I first want to say, before I get into it, some of these books, I don't agree with everything. So take that into consideration. Also, at one point... He, you know, like some of these authors do, unfortunately, they have a word in the King James Bible. So this book uses the King James Bible. Yet at one point he said something like, instead of this, it should be that, one of those things. And I, I have a problem with that, of course. If you can read English, read the King James Bible. It's the word of God. Every word is correct. In the King James Bible. What I liked at the end of this book. Again I'm looking at God's prophecies for plain people. Prophecy question box. Where at the end of the book. He answers a lot of questions. Now again I don't agree with everything. In you know some of these books. But that being said. I think it's helpful. So I recommend this one. Now the next one. I'm currently reading. And again, about these authors, I don't know their background a lot of times. I just read the book. This one uses the King James Bible as well. And it's called, What's on Your Mind? Discover the Power of Biblical Thinking. Is that the one I want? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's the title. The reason why I was confused because the title is about what's on your mind. And... I guess I the subtitle I kind of forgot about. But what's on your mind? Discover the power of biblical thinking. And I haven't read the whole book. And this guy has a website. I haven't checked it out yet. And I'm not sure who the guy is. He's a, preach, a Baptist preacher, it says on the back. That's about all I know. But I'm reading the book and it's very helpful. I think it's one of the more helpful books I've read. It uses the King James Bible. Again, I haven't read the whole thing. And I think it's worth your time and it's worth reading. And it will be helpful for those people that are Christians and read it. And it's a good book so far. I like it. So those are two books that you can check out if you want. And again, the other one, the copyright at first published in 1923, I think. Might say it here. Or maybe 1919. So the book consists of articles written for the Sunday School Times. And appearing in the periodical during 1919. The first book all the way back. The articles were from 1919. But don't let that put you off. Just because it's old doesn't mean it's not good. Because some people have that. Unfortunately they think oh I you know stick with the King James Bible. Look how old that's, and it's still the Bible to use, the King James Bible. Don't use the NIV. Don't use the English Standard Version. Don't use those Bibles. Don't use the Amplified Bible. No. Living Word. Don't use that Bible. There's a Bible called the Living Word. We have the Word. The Word of God, and it's found in the King James Bible. If you can read English, that's the one you want to read. So again, this is short video showing some two books that showing two books that you can check out if you want. One was God's prophecies for plain people. And the other book, What's on Your Mind? Discover the Power of Biblical Thinking.